colorful fruity breakfast is here which chef Kishi Aurora made um, this is crepes which has got honey and a bit of caster sugar right and uh, fruits uh, lacquered lacquered fruits which lacquered is basically fruits. honey and some sugar and mm. some lemon juice and uh, and the crepes have got fresh Vanilla in it. Right. They've got fresh vanilla pods in it. Yeah. And there's also lemon rind in it. Basically a small lemon which is grated, um, mm -hmm. you know, with a little small grater you can take out the skin. Okay. And there's a nice citrusy feel to it then. Okay. So I'm really getting excited about tasting this. So I'll take it with a bit of fruit, mango, since that's my favorite. This is good. Mm. I'm glad you like it. This is really good. I'm getting all happy. There's fruits. Actually, I like the mm. you know like citrus feel, and then if you like pair it up with any kind of juice. Mm. Generally, I would recommend any sour juices like pineapple or mm. apple juice. Mm -hmm. So you have pineapple yeah. juice here. You got pineapple juice over here. The lemon rind is really going well because it's slightly bitterish, mm -hmm. and the fruits are sweet. And you put some lemon in the fruit, so mm -hmm. there's this slight um, sour tinge to it all. Actually, if you put mm. lemon or a bit of salt or anything, anything acidic and salty in any of your fruits, all the sweetness tends to come out. Okay. Which is the reason why when you know you're having papaya or yeah. you know any fruit, people tend to you know olden days people tend to sprinkle some salt on it, uh -huh. just to bring out all the sweetness. Bring out all the, the sweet and even oranges and things like that. Yeah, they people. Yeah, they use salt. black salt yeah, yeah. or um, you know they use just regular iodized white mm -hmm. salt. Well, when you're talking about fruits, mm -hmm. you're talking about healthy breakfast. Um, if someone does not like fruits, mm -hmm. how do you pair up crepes? Uh, see, if someone doesn't like fruits, mm -hmm. then I would say take a crepe and like you can make the same crepes in savory style. Okay. Instead of putting honey and sugar, you mm -hmm. could probably put a bit of cheese and vegetables. Okay. So you can have like one of your English style uh, crepe mm -hmm. where you have some mashed potatoes and some veggies. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like a complete whole meal basically yeah. again. Now um, pancakes are made out of the same uh, ingredients but mm -hmm. the batter is slightly thicker if I'm not wrong. Right, the batter yeah. is much thicker. Mm -hmm. And you don't have uh, as much milk in it. Okay. The milk quantity is much less. Okay. So you'll get like a thicker, you know, like almost like how your Indian uttapams are, a thicker mm -hmm. batter. When you pour it, you know, it cooks and it has a different texture to it. It's mm -hmm. more dense material. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is very thin, light, almost like your dosa in a way. Yeah. Very thin. Like dosa it's also. very light. Yeah. The only thing is they're not fermented. That's the only yeah. difference. No, chef, for something like this, having a nonstick is a must. Uh, yes, I would recommend at least that's when you can you know save your oil or putting you know the amount of yeah, butter. Yeah. I mean, if you do you know like if you do have a nonstick, it, it's helpful. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a nonstick, you know you mm -hmm. will, you know you end up putting more oil, more butter in yeah. order to get that you know released from the pan. Yeah. So, but one thing which I really like is the tip that you gave that instead of flipping the crepe over, mm -hmm. you can just transfer it upside down onto another pan. Yeah, that's a home style remedy I would suggest mm -hmm. to people, you know, you're not like if you're not an expert in flipping something, mm -hmm. why spoil it? So yeah. just, you know, turn it over another pan mm -hmm. or your regular tawa for that reason. Yeah. And let it cook so without any breaking, you know, in the crepe. You can fold it into different shapes if you want, you know, make a roll out of it. Yeah, so this is really simple to make with absolute home ingredients. You have maida, anda. Dude, all the time at home. Right, so maida and the dude, and you know, basically a little bit yeah. of butter. Butter, which is also always at home. Honey is also something that's very readily also available. Exactly, yeah. and uh, you have your fruits, which are always at home. So this is Any something fruit, which you, you can don't have to go with mango or peaches. You can totally yeah. go with like, bananas and yeah. apples, and apples, pears. whatever fruit is lying mm -hmm. at home. Even oranges. Would oh be, yeah, you can totally yeah. take out some orange segments and just sort it that mm -hmm. with a bit of you know like. If you are like fond of rum or something, add a little bit of rum mm. and sugar. That's also very interesting. Well. Thanks for the great tips, Chef. Mm -hmm. And this is really, really tasty. You must try this at home. It's simple, it's quick, and extremely healthy. So if you enjoyed watching this episode of Feeding Frenzy Breakfast, do write into us at metronation at ndtv.com. Until next time, bye-bye. Thanks a lot, Chef. Thank you, sir.